No, 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 it's not. No, 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 no. England, okay, it came from the Angles. He's going by Anglo-Saxon. What does the word Anglo-Saxon mean? It means the Angles. No, no. The word Anglo-Saxon means... Seriously, seriously, promise me. Genetically, the word. which means scientifically proven, okay, Angles came from Eastern Europe. Okay, they were funny enough brought into England through slavery from where the Roman the word, Empire. Where, where did the word angle come from? It's another way of the Latin way of saying angel. You know, you're you know thinking that. about Latin, you know aren't you? Latin. You're thinking about Latin. Yeah, yeah, because okay. the, the that's first fine. Thing, the first, all, all if you're looking word, at word roots, then, okay, you can take it from all, context, England, from context, from context, England, okay? England if you look at history listen, listen, and listen, geopolitically, listen, 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 listen. okay, you will England find that angles come from Eastern Europe. England was part of what original empire? The right. Celtic Empire. It no, spread all the way through no, southern no. France. They were all a part of the Roman, Roman Empire. Empire. Oh, and they oh. broke off. They were all, they, all, they all a part of the Roman Empire, all right? Oh, having fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, bro, let's have fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Take a walk. White man, come back. 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 Don't run nowhere, come on now. No, I got a script for two. Uh, I, I be a man, be a man, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You gotta enjoy it. You yeah. got to see how the white man runs when the truth comes out? Right. See, now, now we, he, he made a statement and he said that the Egyptians are white. Now, the reason why he said that is because the Egyptians that, that, that were down that were down there in that land were not really uh, uh, the real Egyptians. When uh, Ptolemy, or uh, should I say, when Alexander the Greek uh, took over and conquered the whole known world at the time, he had four generals after his death that parted his kingdom. And the Ptolemies, which were white people, they took over what's known as uh, Egypt today. And what they did was they kicked out the original Egyptians and they repopulated that land. That's what the scriptures say, that, that they removed the landmarks. And they set themselves up in that land as the Egyptians. But the original Egyptians come out of a man named Ham. Now Ham, which we're going to read, Ham is a, 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 the father or the progenitor of all the so-called Africans. Because the land of Africa was renamed after a, a, a Roman general by the name of Leo Scipio Africanus. All right? So read this, brother. Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood. Right. So this is Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood. Go ahead. All right. And one of eight persons to live through the flood. Go ahead. He became the progenitor of the dark races. Oh, he said he became the what? The progenitor or the first gene that passed and, and, and the progenitor of the what? Dark races. Of the dark races. Go ahead. Not the Negroes. But not the Negroes here in America because the Negroes here in America are not black. I mean, I'm sorry, are not uh, uh, Egyptian. They're not from Ham. They're a different nation. They're a different nation, but they are dark skin also. Read on. But the Egyptians. Stop, you can close the book. Right there. He said he became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes, Negroes, but the Egyptians. So if he's the father of the dark races, what color was he? Exactly. If the Egyptians are dark, what color would their father be? Dark. And, and these are so-called white scholars that put this together, the Zondervan Bible Dictionary. Because they have done their research. They have, that's what the Bible says, that they are wiser than Daniel. The so-called white man has the, 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 the knowledge and the technology to go around the world and dig up certain uh, artifacts, certain relics. So they know. Yeah, they know. So they put this thing together because they know. But they, they're too busy going around the world lying to people. Right. Now somebody give me Job 9.24. And, and like the brother said, this... This is the book called Our Living Bible. He said we, if we had a picture Bible, right? Yeah, Our Living right? Bible. And if you look at these men, what color are these men that you see hit lined up here? They're all dark skin. They look like the, from a dark brown to a light brown. But they're all hamites. Look, right? look at the color of these, uh, right. these guys here. And then it's, look what it says. It says the sons of Ham, right. Cush, which are the Ethiopians, Egypt, which was Mizraim, Put, which are the North Africans, and Canaan, which are the South Africans. All black. Now look at the inscription on here with the date on it. It says Egyptians, Canaanites, Nubians, and Libyans on frescoes and tombs of Seti, which is one of the pharaohs of uh, of uh, the Egyptians. 1300 BC. 1300 BC. This is an actual picture from. 
They left pictures and paintings, but the so-called white men went around the world and, and they uh, uh, painted over all those images and made them white. And here goes some more, some more pictures. The, you know, if you want to... Right, it just, you know, it just says here the pharaoh. It's showing you one of the pharaohs here himself. It's showing you Egyptians are so-called black people. And then at the bottom of the page here, it shows you Semites sojourning into Egypt, which this was Israel. This is when we sojourned into Egypt. Right. And, and then it you shows have, you being dark, all of us. And Israel. then you had these so-called white people calling themselves Jews. And if you make a, a, a derogatory <laughs> statement or a negative comment against one of them so-called Jews, they call you anti-Shemite or anti-Semite. Right? Now, the man, first of all, the man's name is Shem, not Sem. The word Shem means name or put. The Shemites were descendants of Shem, but you had several. You had Arphaxad, you had Lud, you had Aram, and, and, and others, right? Then you had the Hamites, which are the so-called Africans. Now, you have uh, um, uh, scholars, you have certain historians that have brought out the fact that the so-called Jews in the land of Jerusalem today, in the land of Israel, are not the real Jews. The Bible also brings that out. But we're just making a point about these so-called uh, scholars or these so-called uh, historians that found out that the so-called Jews that are living in that land today, as well as the majority of them so-called Jews over here in America, descend from the Khazar Empire. Now the Khazars or the Khazar Empire, they call them a Turco-Finnish people. Now the Ottoman Turks or the Turks in general, which are so-called white people, come out of a man named Edom or Esau. Edom or Esau was the first, the progenitor of all so-called white people on the planet Earth. And the so-called white man is not white, he's red. That's why if he laughs too hard, what happens? He turns red. If you smack him upside the head, they turn red. If they get angry, they turn red. They call them rednecks down south. Some people call them red-blooded Americans, but they're not white, they're actually red. And they took the name white upon them to get away from that red name. Because uh, if anybody read the Bible and, and knows about Esau or Edom, they know that Esau or Edom is synonymous with red people. So they took that name as their banner is and put it upon the so-called North American <laughs> Indians and called them the red man. But getting back to the Khazars, the Khazars in the uh, 11th, 12th, and 13th century, they were basically uh, uh, um, descendants of Edom. Now, when you go back during the time of, of uh, 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 just before the, uh, the one the world called Jesus Christ came on the scene, you had a time period of around 168 BC when the Greeks were in power and they came into the land of Jerusalem and destroyed our temple, burned our books, made our people go off and eat pork. Some of them did it willingly and some of them chose to die rather than to go off. But you had a man by the name of Harkanus, which Harkanus was a Mac, a Mac, one of the Maccabees. And he was, he was a, 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 a good friend, as the, as the record stated, with Antipater. Now Antipater is, is the father of Herod and the whole Herodian clan. He was the Edomite. The, Edom, the Edomites were already in the land of Jerusalem prior to the real Israelites being kicked out in 70 AD. Because that whole line of the Herods, they were all uh, uh, Idumians or Edomites. Now, uh, uh, um, the Khazars are the same people, the same descendants that come through that line. But what people try to do, they try to get away from, that was, that was the, the Herod in their line, those are the Edomites. But the Romans that were kicking the real Israelites out of Jerusalem and the Greeks that had our people in captivity, they also Edomites. So all so-called white people come out of Edom, out of Esau, but you had different uh, uh, tribes. Just like Jacob had 12 sons, and that, and that uh, the 12 sons became the 12 patriarchs of the of the nation of Israel, the so-called white men had 12 tribes also, 12 sons. Right. And they became, the, uh, uh, they populated the earth as Edomites. They were called the Dukes of Edom. Got the right. I got, I got the, the map of the Khazarian Empire. Uh, Khazar means a wanderer, all right? And this is basically the, the, where they rule, the empire, all right? And that and that's what the so-called white man is. The so-called white man that calls himself a Jew, that's what they are. They're Khazars. They're not the real Jews. To be a Jew, you gotta come out of the tribe of Judah. Alright? 
And the so-called white man, he doesn't come out of uh, the tribe of Judah. He comes out of Esau, right? He doesn't come out of Jacob. He comes out of Esau.